Is it pretentious or is it practical? Yeah, well, you're going from the old kind of Stanislavski school. I can't pronounce it. Stanislavski school now. So you've got your Brando, James Dean came out the back of that kind of 40s and 50s and probably 50s more so. Um, a lot of exciting things happening in the New York theatre scene. And that drove the um, institution of method acting. I don't know what you'd want to call it, but a lot of method comes from like the school from Stanislavski. School of thought. Yeah, and so embodying the character and and ef- effectively being one with what you are presenting and letting it absorb you and take over you. So Brando was a practitioner, but the thing with Brando is like. There's a million and one stories of him being pretty unprofessional as well. Yeah. So, and it's not because he's method acting, just because he couldn't be bothered to learn his lines. So he's really like one of the... A key example of um, the art being the reason why it's forgivable. Okay. He's great. So I was like, do what you want. I have no doubt you're going to give me some examples of ones where... It ended up being shit. So these no, are all incredible. It. I'll be honest. I really don't have anywhere I can I can rattle off some which have been. Well, I'll give us a couple uh, off of this list. Obviously, Marlon Brando in The Godfather uh, mumbled like Vito Corleone yeah. <laughs> as part of his method acting uh, and developed distinctive mannerisms, which I guess is probably the is it called an underbite or something where your, your jaw goes. Well, out he stuck he... stuff in his cheeks. Did he now? Mm. Ah, so do you reckon he kept cold. those in off screen? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I didn't know how much he did. I know he kind of when when Francis Ford Coppola came to him and suggested it, he, he saw him getting into character and, and, and yeah. kind of starting to embody it. But I didn't know this was a well known performance. Uh well the next one you will know is a well known performance and uh certainly an, an accolade for the school of thought. Uh Heath Ledger in The Dark Knight. Probably the most famous method acting performance ever, I would say. Like if you just went and asked a random person on the street, can you name me a single method acting performance? But I don't know. I wouldn't really call these method. Like Heath Ledger didn't stay in character off screen. He he did a lot to learn about the character. Right. He famously like shut up shop in a in a cabin in the woods miles away and wrote loads of notes down that were got in the headspace of a very dark character. But you listen to interviews with people like Michael Jai White, who uh, played Gambit Gamble. It's like the gamble, I think it is, in Dark Knight. He says he was, yeah, he was cracking wise. He was, he was not Just in normal character. Dude, right? He I stayed in makeup. That. He stayed in wow. makeup, but he didn't like stay yeah, as a Joker. Sense. And a, a, another very famous example that's tied to that of a bad one is um, person who played Joker after Heath Ledger. Oh, Th- 30 seconds Jared Leto. Left. Jared Leto. Is he on your list? No, he isn't. So he he's one of those incredibly famous examples of why people hate the idea of method acting. Okay. Because Jared Leto is a big method actor Mm -hmm. and people don't like a lot of his performances. (laughs) And that kind of makes people question the idea of, do you really need to method act? In the case of Joker, he was sending like used condoms to actresses and like dead rats to people in it. That just that and just like sounds like a notes. poor excuse for exactly right. And then weird in behavior. recently he did um, Morbius, and in Morbius he has some sort of affliction where he's about to die, and he decided to yeah you know, not walk and like have people carrying him around. Right, okay. that has happened before. So a very famous example of someone who does method acting to a degree that everyone respects is Daniel Day-Lewis, who I know you will have examples of Daniel Day-Lewis in here. For My Left Foot, his first Oscar win, he p- played a paraplegic, someone who only had the use of his like left foot. That's, that's the idea sure. of the film. And he didn't move. <laughs> Good for him, man. Made people carry him around. Very hard to work with. People found it very annoying because they're like, why the fuck are you doing this? Yeah, but... but he is considered one of, if not the greatest pure actors you'll ever yeah. see. So it genuinely is all forgiven based on how okay, here's the an idea performance then. is received. You've got uh, Jared Leto's Joker and mm-hmm. you've got Daniel Day-Lewis's Le- My Left Foot. Yeah. I have seen some clips of Jared Leto's, jo- uh, Jared Leto's Joker. And to me, 
what he struck me as, as somebody who was just very absorbed in getting to play the Joker and wasn't really ever... There was no understanding of character motive. There was no understanding. He was just doing random shit for the sake of it because he was enjoying himself so much. And I wonder if maybe there's an element of... It can be an incredibly useful tool, but if you are using it just because you're so excited about that role, it might take you in the complete wrong direction if you're not careful. Yeah, potentially. It's it's hard to say because his issue now is very much he's done a few stinkers and then it's almost if you're not up to the standard of some method actors, you're then going to really undermine the whole process. And, And until he does a really good performance... It's going to be the case. When he's done well, so he won an Oscar for Dallas Buyers Club, which undoubtedly he'll have done some zany shit in that, I have no doubt. It's rewarded. So... <laughs> Does it have to be... So. As you clearly know a little bit about the school of thought. Okay. Does it have to be binary? Does it have to be either on or off? Can you not method act as a joker, but maybe not send the condoms? For not sure. make it everybody else's problem. So but... da- Daniel Day Lewis, right in Lincoln, yeah, method acted. He was yep. playing President Lincoln. That so, makes sense. So people refer to him as Mr. President. <laughs> On and off, they're like Mr. President. Now he has said he doesn't go home and like, you know, like <laughs> like not act as if. There's no electricity or something. This is like, <laughs> well, I don't understand what's going on. I'm the president. Of, <laughs> I'm the president of America in the 19th century. Like, he's he only embodies the president practically. So okay. he does all he can within the constraints of the world he is in. So his wife will have to call him Mr. President. Is the, Steven Spielberg called him Mr. President, the director. So, and he's mentioned... Like, I love my wife. She's had to put up with some weird people coming through the door over the years. And this is part of the reason why he takes such long breaks from acting. Really interesting stuff to look into, him talking about why he does this. He gets so invested in a character that he spends years cultivating and embodying the character that he's going to portray. He he learns everything that's possible to learn about it for this film. And by the time he's finished, he is like just everything's been taken out of him. He's, he feels like his soul has been just unearthed onto the page, onto that. the screen. And he just needs to chill. <laughs> he needs to just get back to normalcy. So everyone's like, wow, he's amazing. No one else can do that because he does good films. I'm going to have to send you condoms to people. And he wouldn't do that. I don't think if he was playing <laughs> the joke, he'd go that far. But, but say he had got... say. <laughs> All right, so which one is it? Is it? It's not Batman v Superman, is it? The Joker in? I think it might be actually. No, it's Suicide Squad. It's Suicide Squad. So, say Suicide Squad was a really well received film, mm-hmm. it would have excused one hundred percent. People would have excused the fact even that if Jared he was Leto- still bad in it. If he had the exact same performance, but the film was good, is that what you're saying? Yeah. To be honest, like people want to see the performance as bad because of everything that happened around it. Like, okay. The performance is the performance. He's just playing a fucking nut job. That's the Joker. Yeah, okay. He, Heath Ledger's is really good, but most, I, I think the thing is with acting, like most of the time, everyone just does the same thing. Like they're given the same sequence and they all have learned the same way. So they'll all approach it a very similar way. It's very rare. You watch something original happening on screen. And when you do, you're like, shit, that's really cool. Yeah. Okay. If Daniel Day Lewis is, argued to be one of the greatest of all time and he embodies these characters and that's quite clearly the the reason why he's so good mm. but maybe it should be something that people do as often as they can look i would argue that you could put daniel day lewis's performances up against any performances in history okay is that because he's great is it because he does the method is the method tied to great performances do do you require going that deep into the character in order to bring out that level of depth in performance.